Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Let's Get Crackin' podcast. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back. I always appreciate it so much. If you are a new viewer, hi, I'm Eden. I'm the owner of Crackin' Made, where I sell my handmade progress keepers, um, my own pattern designs, and hand-dyed yarn. And more than hand-dyed yarn now, but we will get into that later. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. I'm so glad that you stumbled upon my little corner of the YouTubes. Um, you can find me on... Did I say that already? I get in the zone. No, you can find me on Instagram <laughs> as Crafting Kraken Made. You can also find me and my patterns on Lovecrafts and Payip. All the links to everything. Um, my internet socials, the website, um, where the patterns are, and the patterns I talk about will all be in the description box below. So, first thing I need to get onto, I'm sorry to anyone who was hopping onto YouTube for the YouTube Live last week. I had no idea that to do a YouTube Live you need to register your account first, or your channel, which takes about 24 hours. <laughs> So, when both me and my husband sat down, ready to go for this YouTube Live, um, we couldn't figure out what was going wrong, and turns out I need to register my channel. I'm so sorry about sounds of the outdoors going on, people working on stuff, but I opened the window because I need a little fresh air in here, and also it is a beautiful sunny day. But anyway. We did a Instagram Live, and if you were there, thank you so much. Um, it means a lot when something I do, I never know how it's going to go. I, I second guess myself if I'm supposed to be doing stuff like that, but it went well, and I thank you so much for joining us. Um, we will have a YouTube Live eventually, as soon as I figure out how to do all that YouTube jazz, but anyway. So, back to usual podcast, um, I have a finished object, I have some works in progress, and I have a bunch of yarn to talk about, and also, I'm going to be doing some giveaways for all you subscribers for the YouTube anniversary. Um, I know it's a week late, but hey, a giveaway is always awesome no matter what, you can always find an excuse. So. I'm going to be giving away whoop, this skein of green yarn that you saw in another podcast. I never got to listing it, I never got to name it, so it's going to be a one of a kind special to give away. It is a very deep green that in the sunlight it turns to a beautiful emerald, but in the dark it's almost black looking. So there's some good lighting on there, but it's it's really fun. This is a 7525 fingering weight skein. So this will be one of the prizes, and then um, there'll be three prizes. Yep, there's the yarn. Then there is a progress keeper of your choosing from the shop, and then there will be a free pattern for of your choosing that I have designed. So, if you want to get in on that, uh, say hi and comment which prize you would like to win. I will be picking three different people to give those away to of those three things. And, yes, yeah, so that'll be announced the next podcast. So, very easy. Just comment down below, say hi, your name, something, maybe something fun about you, and which prize you would like to win go in there. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. All right, so now let's get into projects, shall we? All right, let's get cracking. <laughs> let's get cracking. I don't have any fancy drink today. It's just water. It's good to stay hydrated though. So whatever drink you're having, be sure you have some water today. Very important. Okay, so my finished object is I whipped up my DK Ruel socks, and I'm sorry these are so messy. 
I've been wearing them a lot. They are so cozy. So I knit this fingering held double. This was an 80-20 from K-Zip Knits. Whatever base she has for the eight ply yarn. It's fantastic. It's one of my favorite bases is that eight ply because it just has such a good sturdiness and density. It's just awesome. Um, so yeah, I held that double. This is the Callaway Root Beer Float from KZF Knits. And this is a new pattern coming, well it will be out already. Um, it comes out April 1st. This pattern will, this pattern, this episode will be out April 2nd. So whatever I'm talking about, everything that's coming out on Friday will be out. So you can just click that link and hop over and get yourself yarn or a uh, pattern. So these are the Ruel Socks DK Edition. It's a very simple seated ribbing sock that has great stretch to it. I'm gonna show you. And goes with any yarn. I, I honestly say that, 100% believe that, that it goes with any yarn. You can try and prove me wrong, but I'm pretty sure it goes with any yarn. Um, crazy or tonal. So yeah, these are a simple slipper sock. It is a toe-up pattern with a short row heel. And it's a short, shorter cuff sock. If you want to do a taller sock, you're going to need a little bit more yarn. I was able to do this with one skein of fingering weight, and you could also do it with one skein of DK. Um, but any bigger will need more yarn. Um, all those details will be in the pattern itself. You will be able to buy this on its own, or you can buy the Ruel Sock Bundle, which contains the fingering weight version and the DK weight version. So yeah, I finished these. I've been wearing them a ton. It makes probably an awesome slipper sock. Like, it's so quick. I wh whipped this up in probably like a weekend. Yeah, so I definitely want to make more of these. DK weight socks is my obsession lately, as you will see as we continue on through stuff. So, Ruel sock by me. If you want a fingering weight version, there is one. You can get that, or you can get DK, or both. So that's my finished object. I might actually just put those on my feet right now. Kit. Toes are a little bit chilly. Okay. Ta-da! So yeah, it's just like, just above an ankle sock. It'd be a great boot sock, for sure. Or just some house socks. Oh goodness. Ugh. Couch is eating me. Okay. Get in the frame. There we go. I think it was in the frame, but looks better all stacked up can't wait to get into that stuff but anyway let's get cracking on these whips next so I have a ton of socks to show off well technically it's it's just two pairs um, but I also have some crocheting to show off I've been working a lot on my granny squares so what a, a thing I need to talk about first I really get into this all the time where I talk about all the details before I get into the actual subject. It's an issue of mine that I have to cover all bases before <laughs> I get to the point. But I've been using my own minis for my granny squares. So the, some of these that you will see will be hand dyed yarn that is minis that went with the sock sets. What me and my husband do when we do sock sets is I will dye one. Um, 100 gram skein of fingering weight in the colorway and we'll split it into minis and as we sell four sock sets in a colorway at a time I get the fifth to use for myself so a lot of these are that and leftovers from other projects okay so I have a ton of these to show you I really got into them one day so here's I'll do them I use these yarns 
pretty sure you've seen before in my very first pair of DK weight socks where I held fingering double. This is seaweed from Brine Dye Works. And we've got this hot pink from Tofino Knit Co. from her fishing lure collection. This is Clear Sky, which is hand dyed by me in a mini. This is Beltane from a homespun house, and it's like a little sparkly. I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of hard. Um, Color Box from Pineapple Yarn, which is also sparkly. This is a one of a kind from Smith and You. A very sparkly yarn. I think you can see that, hopefully. Um, eat your. Is this what's called? Nope, this is Hint of Lime. Died by me. I thought this was Eat Your Kelp, but that's a different one. This is Hint of Lime. This one is Eat Your Kelp, which I'm working on. A little square right now. Got it started. And then purple urchin. And yeah, that is all. This is all hand dyed by me. So yeah, all these squares are worked up. That's what one, two, three, eight. That is eight squares. Really? Cool. So there's eight more squares to throw into the collection. I should go through. Um all my granny squares and see how many I have. I want to make a pair of granny square sweatpants is what they're usually called but I don't want to call them sweatpants because I don't want to sweat in these so t t lounge pants sounds a little bit more appealing so my lounge pants out of granny squares um, I'm probably getting pretty close to what I need so I have to recount and see how many there are. Maybe I'll do that right now. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have 37 squares so far. How cool is that? It's such a cool stack. And it's kind of funny, the colors, you can kind of see it fade from, I've got some neutral toned and it slowly works its way into more bright, summery looking colorways. It's such a fun stack. So yeah, 37. Actually, I need to work out how many squares I'm gonna need, but probably somewhere around, just over 50 probably. Maybe I'll need, I don't know. I'm just gonna keep going and enjoying making these squares. If I have extra, that is okay. I will just throw them into a different project. And I keep all my squares, now that I've shown these off, I can throw them in here, into my beautiful sister mushroom bag. I keep all my squares in there so I can just tie on the top to keep them safe from spilling anywhere and carry it around. It's an awesome bag. I love it. I'll just put that in my project bag up here. And I'm doing, I started doing these squares with 2.75 millimeter hook. And then I realized my gauge was loosening quite a bit, so I went down to 2.5, but at the moment, I have no idea where that hook is. Yeah, I'll find it eventually, and I'll throw it back in the bag. But I've got a bunch of minis right here that I need to get into. Mostly hand-dyed ones, except for this guy. Whoop! So yeah, those are living in my... Espresso Patronum bag by So Crazy Crafter. I love this bag and it's perfect for holding my minis uh, to just go in there and be ready. This is kind of like my, my traveling project lately. If I'm going out, I will take some granny scores with me because they're simple and they're a small project to take. Okay, now let's move on to some DK weight socks. Let's start with this guy. So we've got it in a new bag from Two Sticks and U E W E, handmade in the Okanagan. So this is a local Canadian seller. My grandma 
gave this to me. Such a cute bag. Some llamas or alpacas on there. I know there's a way to tell, but I don't know how to do that. So I'm knitting up my husband some DK weight vanilla socks. I do most of my, actually all my vanilla socks toe up. It's my favorite method to do socks in. And this is out of a yarn that I'll be carrying in the shop. I'll be showing it off more later at the end of the episode. But this is an eight ply extra large opal yarn. So it's a DK weight yarn. Um, it's from the, it's colorway 11 zero, or okay, 11013 from the series 2882. And there it is. Oh, let's see if I can get this. Come on. Well, there's the showing. Mm -hmm. yes. So I've got all the English translations for all these yarns. This is Clinking Fountains. And it is so awesome. It is a 75, 25, 150 squ square gram um, yarn ball. Yarn. Pink. So I'm just knitting this on 3.25 millimeter needles. And I'm just gonna be working up the foot, probably doing a short row heel. And, oh my goodness, I love this yarn. I love how it's actually very soft and squishy. It's great. It has that little bit of a wool texture. Like it's not super, super soft, but it's soft for a more natural wool. And I've just got a little, a little cracking on there. My own progress keeper. So yeah, these are gonna be for my husband. And I did a poll on Instagram asking if anybody would like a plain toe up vanilla sock pattern. It'd just be free on my website but it was a 50 50 thing so if you would like to have a vanilla toe up pattern i would love to write one up and have that available for people because there's not a lot of toe up patterns out there that cover kind of the things with toe up i know it's trouble with like casting off the cuff is a big issue with toe up socks but i don't find that issue um, that I have different methods in how I cast off my cuffs. I don't mind the flaring because often enough that flare will get worked out with the stretch of the cuff, but there are ways to not have a flaring cuff. I like doing toe ups to, so that I know if I'm using like a scrap hank of something, um, I have enough yarn to do both feet. I'm okay with a shorter leg, I just don't want a shorter foot because that's that's not how socks are supposed to fit. <laughs> so anyway, I would love to do that because this is just a vanilla sock that pattern that I just use out of my head all the time. Anyway, <laughs> little tangent for you. There we go. So that is my vanilla knitting that I have for movies or if I'm going out. I always want to make sure that I have a vanilla sock of some kind going on. And on the subject of DK weight socks, let's move on to this guy. I have it in a bag I made myself. It is a labyrinth bag. I made this a while ago. I made it out of this yarn or yarn, this fabric I ordered online. I made the little clear bulb. If you know what, know the movie Labyrinth with like David Bowie in it. It's his little glass balls. That is magical. <laughs> but anyway, um, <laughs> I'm totally getting distracted. This was made out of a thrifted curtain. So it's got a little bit of reuse there. It's nice. It's one of my favorite bags to have. And in here, I'm working on the DK weight version of my I Do Socks. So I want to get more D 
DK weight um, patterns out there because I think that it's awesome to have both fingering and DK versions out there for when you want to knit an actual light fingering sock or you want something just a little bit cozier in a DK version. So I finished just yesterday, I finished the leg. This was just so enjoyable to revisit because this is a pattern that is very special to me. This is a pattern that I designed for me and my husband to wear on our wedding day. And that was the fingering weight version. And this one is just kind of like revisiting that in my mind of patterns. I don't know, I get very sentimental about this stuff, but I am using Ginger Snap DK Tweed in Hunter's Green and Silver Lining. I believe that's what it is. And this is a cuff down pattern and you'll be needing two skeins of DK weight, one for your main and one for your extra. A DK weight mini probably wouldn't be enough to do the color work on the extra, so you need two skeins. Quite contrasting colors. And I love this yarn. It's so squishy and soft, and it'll make such a comfortable sock. It's so cuff down pattern. I just finished the short row heel and I will just be working down the foot to the toe. And again, I'm using 3.25 millimeter needles and I'll be writing up that pattern to be available pretty soon. And it will also be available in a bundle with the original pattern, fingering weight version as well. So that is going into some other simple vanilla knitting, so I will be able to take this around anywhere until I reach the toe, which is nice. I love having it so that I can just knit. It's a good, it's a good take around project now. The, the cables I wouldn't, I do at home where I can just concentrate on the cables, and that's what I did. I sat on the couch, <sighs> like one in the morning and got the cables done, which I don't think I should have done that, but I'm very glad I did to just get it done. It it pulls you in, like you just want one more twist, one more, one more movement, one more, yeah. It draws you in. I have done a little bit work on my Oma socks um, by the kitchen sink, but it's not enough to really show. Um, it hasn't made a big difference. So once I'm done the heel, I will bring those back and show them off. And I've done a little bit work on my bits and bobs, and I've shown this a lot. Um, I have it here, so I thought it, I might as well show it off anyway. I'm getting there. I've ordered more of the Alpaca Extra yarn that I'm using with this. This is Cascade Ultra Alpaca Light. So it's a lace weight alpaca. It's so soft. I absolutely love it. But I've been working away on it slowly. My whole, um, my whole thing of just, oh, I'll try and finish a color a week, got thrown off train, bus, whatever we were riding on that, it got thrown off pretty quick. But I'm still gonna try and putter away on it as much as I can. So I'm almost done. Color, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm almost done color 13. So that will put me just over halfway on this blanket, which is awesome. So this is the Bits and Bobs blanket by KF Jones. I am using a 2019 advent calendar from Dragon Horde Yarn and Yarn Cafe Creations. They did a Harry Potter advent calendar back in 2019. Yeah, so that is kind of my side project that I try and do a little bit of work on every day. I haven't done it every day, but 
I try and tell myself that, okay, you should do at least a couple rows every day. So I'm almost done color 13. It's right there. And here is color 14. It's a beautiful gray with some green in there. Can't wait to get into that. But it is really fun to do this project again after so long. 2019 was a long time ago. Um, but I get to pull out these colors again and can be completely surprised. I've wound up every mini scheme back in 2019 and I left them in their numbered bags so I know which one is which. I've completely forgotten what the colorways are so I keep opening it up and just getting surprised all over again at the special colors and they did a gorgeous job. They always do with their advent calendars. Yeah, I'm just keeping that in my nativity bag that my mom made me. I love that. So yeah, that's kind of all the projects that I've gotten a bit of progress on. I've been doing a little bit here and there. I put a little bit onto my sweater, my winter bluff sweater on the sleeve, but it was only like an inch, so it doesn't really need to be shown until, it, I think I'm going to show it again once I get one sleeve done. And yeah, my, my watercolor promises, socks, um, gotten a little bit of work on those, but not enough to really show. Yeah, so that's about it. Um, but there's another finished object that I will be throwing in a little clip in just a sec. My husband has a finished object to show you guys. So here it is. Well, hello, everybody. Hello. I'm back to uh, grace you with my presence. <laughs> or bug you. Mm. It works <laughs> either way. Yeah, so it's couple days later again yeah so it's a different clip but it doesn't matter because you're just seeing it at the same time but we're gonna show weird off weird how stuff works like that <laughs> YouTube's amazing wow. you show up I, don't know. I finished object. there's my blanket oh yeah there's a finished object there you go mm -hmm. well it's not my blanket my uh, baby blanket project thing it's too big it's oh, so it big angles it's it. been blocked so it's nice and it's all ready to go. It's nice and soft. And all the eyelets look really good. Super even. So you just made up this pattern, really. You it's just, just knitting. It's just... Just, well, it's all knitting. It's but it's just Giant dishcloth. Yeah, kind of just... Stuff. I don't know, just knit. What, mm -hmm. what does that mean? Garter? Not, not pearl, thank you. It's just garter. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a little end. Oh, I'll uh -oh. fix that. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just stretched it and it's gone. There you go. Yeah, so this was knit out of fingering held double. Mm-hmm. You used a black... Bunch of nitpick stuff. Yeah. I don't... A black fingering from Hey Sister. Oh. Who don't die anymore. The rest is... It, yeah, nitpicks. the rest is all nitpicks, I think. It's like... This yep. this is Stroll Glimmer, I think. Yep, in the in color J. J. And then this was uh, Stroll, Stroll Tweed in... The what was the color? I don't know. The ball band should be right here. Yeah. Whoop. See, I told you I can't remember this <laughs> stuff. Should I thought have grabbed I it right remember. away, but at least it's right there. It's Forest Heather. Oh, yeah. That's right. And then Forest. the other skein of black that you used with it is Knit Picks Hawthorne Blackbird in the Kettle Dye series. There you go. Yep. Thank you for being here to do that because <laughs> I don't know these things very well. I remembered the blue one and that's mm -hmm. about it. Yeah, so but it's big. It's great. It's a really good size. Mm-hmm. So now I'm we can sure everybody knows, but for those that don't, this is a baby blanket for my nephew. Mm -hmm. And it'll go with that that you finished yeah. forever ago. This took so long. <laughs> I made a tiger to go with it, so it's a good little 
A little baby gift. A little baby gift, yeah. So that's now pretty we have awesome. To go to where the baby is and yeah. give it. Now we have to go. Hopefully visit. in the next week or two. Mm-hmm. It looks pretty or good so. together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, they worked out good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's really it. Did you enjoy like the garter and knitting double? I didn't notice any difference. Like I think <laughs> I knit like like I would drop the second strand or second whatever you want to call that. This the yarn. I, I, yeah, I dropped the second string of yarn like three times in the whole blanket. Mm-hmm. It it was so easy. I didn't notice anything other than that. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. <laughs> it, it wasn't all that different it wasn't all that mm. weird feeling it mm-hmm. just was but it's not like I have a lot of practice on one other than my dishcloths so I don't know mm-hmm. it was just knits and a few yarn overs and make or knit two togethers and that kind of stuff so it's pretty basic you but that was kind of nice to just sit and do mm-hmm and I could like watch TV or something at the same time as long as it wasn't a too interesting of a show because <laughs> I couldn't do both at the same time if it was too mm-hmm. interesting <laughs> sorry it was just like there's just a head <laughs> but yeah hey, help <laughs> well thank you for coming on again to show it no off no problem mm-hmm. thanks for being interested in this, <laughs> I can't hold this up. Okay, there, I got this side. Sorry, I've held it there up like four times. But, but it's fun to show. Yeah. So yeah, there it is. It takes two people. That feels pretty cool. <laughs> Alright then. I guess that's where we end the clip. I don't know where I ended for <laughs> the coming back, so you'll just see. <laughs> Bye. But back to Thursday. <laughs> Bye. Okay, I didn't even talk about what I'm wearing. I'm sure you've been wondering most of the time. This is, if you're if you're a new viewer, you don't know what this is, but if you've been a long time viewer, you probably know what this is. This is my Granny Square Jumper by The Iron Lamb. I crocheted this holding fingering scraps double and just letting them do their thing. Marling, crazily, oops. Never mind that, that's not, uh, not moving in. <laughs> I'm sure we all have that, sorry. Just... Yeah, I crocheted this with all my fingering weight scraps back in 2020, I think. And I love this sweater. It's cozy and super like, squishy and it's awesome. And it's kind of the good mid weather that I can wear this where it's it's still chilly, but it's not like freezing cold. so. It's a good time for this sweater. And I believe she has a cardigan version of this now too, which would be really cool to make. Maybe one day I'll get into that. But we're going to hop into yarn now. And I'm sure you're just excited as I am to see these colors. You've been wondering what they were. So in the last yarn update, we showed this all off on our Instagram live. But if you didn't see that, I'm going to show you now of the yarn. Me and my husband dyed together. We have, he dyed the orange, I dyed the blue. This is creamy orange with blue raspberry. So they're kind of summery themed yarns. So if you're wanting to get your bright colors into your life, this is a great update to grab some summery yarns for all well, Crazy Sock Lady is doing Summer Sock Camp, so this would be great for Summer Sock Camp or any summer knitting that you will be doing. Socks, you could do you could do a little shawl with this. That would be cool. I have a pattern for a sock set shawl. It's a crocheted shawl. The Field Rose shawl. I keep saying shawl, but anyway, it could be used for quite a few things. Whatever sock set stuff. But that's a great pairing. And then I've got one of these left in the shop. 
hopefully it's not gone by the time this podcast goes up, but at the same time, I am always so happy when you guys buy my yarn. It makes me feel so good. This is Strawberry Sorbet and Hint of Lime. It is such a pretty... I love this pink because I'm always saying I'm not a pink person, but this is my type of pink where it's a little reddy. It just so goes so well with that pop of lime. And we got, I'll show you the sock sets first. We got Mermaid's Salad with Purple Urchin, which is super cool popping color. I love the green with this purple. I might have to knit something with one of these myself. Oh, it's so good. Whoa, lost the mini. you probably but anyway <laughs> see if, make sure this doesn't fall over okay and then last but certainly not least I have one of these left in the shop this is strawberries and, or strawberries cherries and caramel with a caramel drizzle mini this is a gorgeous variegated that it's oh so nice. It could work for fall, it could work for summer, spring, winter, anytime. But yeah, that's such a good sock set. One left of those if you're interested. And then we'll go on to our DKs here. I'll have to rearrange this later, but anyway. My husband dyed this one. This is Vintage Legos. It is a really gorgeous variegated with a bunch of really popping colors in there. This is our DK base. It's 100% superwash merino, 100 grams, 246 yards, and it is a four ply. All the fingering sock sets are a 80-20 base, and it is a two ply. So I really love how this turned out. And then we've got Octoflage, which is Octopus Camouflage. It's just a really simple yellows and creams with some really intense orange and brown speckling. Really pretty. And we've got White Cat Bay, which is a Pirates of the Caribbean inspired yarn. If you know Pirates of the Caribbean, White Cat Bay is where all the mermaids live. They're not nice mermaids. I'll tell you that. If you <laughs> That's a really good one. And then last, certainly not least, we have Lazy Sea Star, which is a gorgeous deep purple with specks of black and magenta in there. I love that one. So those are all our DK base that we hand dyed. Okay. I'm just gonna put those there. Oh dear. Can you stay? Okay. We're gonna stay. I'll go through the fingering opal next and we'll end with the DK opal. So the shop this Friday or past Friday as you watch this podcast episode, we will be carrying opal yarns. So if you want to get into some like great spring, summer colors, it will be over there in the shop. I'm sorry, I've got itchy nose. There we go. <laughs> so um, I'm going to be telling you all the English translations and I will be putting them, I'll list them in the English translations. But we have most of the memories collection. There was only one that was sold out when we did a wholesale order for these. So it is an entire collection, almost an entire collection. First up we have um, Playmate and Loyal Friend. And it knits, I'll be showing you all the ways it knits up, if that'll show it. Really pretty. Try and switch. Um, this is Luck on the Pony Farm, which is really gorgeous pink 
with some speckles. This would be great spring knit or crochet. Let's see if I can get my face out of the way. See that? Can you see that? Darn light. Something like that. <laughs> I have better pictures on the website if you want to see more. Then we've got time for me. And I love this picture. It's just a lady in a bathtub enjoying a bubble bath with a bunch of rubber ducks. Like, she's just living her best life. And it is a gorgeous orange red with some stripes of dark blue. So this is 100% a great summer colorway. There you go. I really hope you can see these, but you get the idea. And we've got Daddy's Princess. Look how cute that picture is. It's beautiful greens, pinks, and orange. This is a great like Easter colorway or spring, spring garden kind of. And we've got whoop, my very favorite cuddly toy, my very dearest cuddly toy, something like that. It's such a fun colorway with blues and all the little stripes of extra color. And we've got um, my first big love is a beautiful mix of light purples, yellows, very nice Easter. It's even got some bunnies on them. Look how cute those bunnies are. <laughs> That's how it knits up. It's got some good pops of orange. And then last but certainly not least, this is Vacation Adventure with Uncle Nils. This is probably my favorite out of the bunch grays with those really nice pops of like a salmon, pink, green, and turquoise. I don't know if you can see how it's knit up. But I hope you can get an idea. It's so cool. This is such a great masculine colorway, but also probably my favorite colorway out of the bunch. Just like it fits so much. <laughs> okay, so those are all the fingering weight. These are 75, 25, virgin wool, and nylon. How much yardage is it? 100 grams, 425 meters, so your typical fingering weight base, and it's just lovely. I have a pair of opal socks, and I love the feel of them. They keep my toes nice and toasty, and they're so colorful. They're so much fun to knit into socks because you just, you get caught up in all that self-striping. It's amazing. Okay, so lastly here, we've got our DK. And this is the one, I'll start with this guy. This is the one that I'm knitting my husband a pair of socks out of. It is a, I'll say it again, 7525 virgin wool and nylon. It is 150 grams. That, so you can have enough to be sure to make a full pair of socks. I will be able to make my husband, who has larger feet, um, a full pair of socks out of one skein, which is awesome because when you wanna knit DK stuff, you have to get more skeins. But with this, you can be guaranteed that you'll have enough for a pair of socks in one hank. So yeah, opal, extra large. This is Clinking Fountains. And it just knits up in a gorgeous gray with these pops of light blue and black speckling. Put that there. <coughs> Excuse me. My mouth is getting dry. I'm not used to chit chattering so much. I'm actually a very quiet person in real life. I don't talk a whole lot. So when I hop on a podcast, I just chatter so much that my voice and my brain can't keep up sometimes. <laughs> but anyway, this is our other DK weight colorway. This is Shiny Ballroom. And 
look how fun this works up. Like, how can you not love that? I mean, those colors are amazing. I, I, I'm speechless and want to say it all at the same time. Like, it's just such a fun colorway that it has those happy spring and summer vibes. So if you're wanting to have like a spring or summer like bright colored DK weight socks in your future, this is the, the scheme. Guaranteed. <laughs> so that is all the yarn that is in the shop. So I think we've talked about all the things. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day, night, evening, morning, whatever time it is there for you. Um, be sure to hop onto that giveaway for um, this skein of yarn, a um, progress keeper of your choice, or a free pattern. Just comment down below some just saying hello. Um, how long you've been with the channel or something just a, just a little blurb to introduce yourself or to just have a little conversation and what we'd like to win so you can hop on to that giveaway and okay let's stop stop blabbering thank you so much for joining me I will see you next time bye